this is Sam Weigel with V1 Rotate and this week we're going to be talking about what it's like to live life on the road as a professional pilot. It's currently 9 p.m. on a Wednesday and tomorrow morning I start a four day trip. Uh, I have three overnights, they're all over on the east coast. I think I'd like to bring you all along. Before going to bed, I'll get the coffee ready to go for the boarding and make sure my iPad is charging and updated. The 5 a.m. wake up comes early and I do my morning routine on autopilot. All right, so I'm packing. The three most important things to remember, passport, crew ID, and my wallet. So I have a combination cooler and laptop bag here. This one's made by Aerocoast. Work iPad, laptop, my charger cords, headset, walk around vest, toiletries. Uh, some guys pack their own food. Um, I used to when I was kind of a starving regional pilot. These days I don't, I just have too much other stuff to bring. My overnight bag, steel frame made by Strong Bags. I'm going all kind of in the southeast, but it's kind of cold right now, so I have both uh, shorts and jeans. I have a casual shirt and a colored one. Got my sweater, underwear, socks as necessary, workout clothes, street shoes, a spare uniform, uh, even for short trips because coffee happens. Hi, yes, umbrella for the Seattle commute. Don's up bright and early to take me to the ferry terminal. Got the kit bag ready to go, got the coffee. Uh, good rainy January day. Love ya. All right, got a mask up for safety, kids. When the timing works out, I enjoy taking the ferry to work. It drops me off in downtown Seattle, I hike up the hill to the University Place link station, and then take the train to the airport. Yes, welcome to the crew room. I don't try to spend too much time here. It's kind of depressing. I won't be showing you any flight footage because both my company and the FAA rather frown upon airline pilots recording themselves in flight in the cockpit. Instead, I'll summarize our day. We flew to Atlanta, sat for three and a half hours, had a further one hour, 15 minute delay due to a late inbound flight from Nashville, and then made the short flight to Greensboro, North Carolina. All right, so it's like 15 hours later now. Yeah, kind of a long day for only having two legs. I wanted to show you kind of how I get organized for living in a hotel room. First, I get my iPad charging. Then I make sure my crew ID is in a predictable place, in my hat. I stow my overnight bag out of the reach of bed bugs, hang up my uniform, get my toiletries arranged for the morning, and get my personal devices charging. All right, so I think that's it for the night. I'm gonna head to bed now. All right, it's a new day in Greensboro, North Carolina. First thing I did when I got up, uh, checked the van time, 12.49, so I set my alarm for 11.49. One of the things I've been trying to do lately, be disciplined about going and working out on layovers. I have spent basically 17 years uh, eating too many chicken wings and drinking beer on overnights. I've traditionally kind of despise gyms and uh, well this is a 40 year old body that's the result and looking at some of the guys that I've flown with uh, with 55 60 65 year old bodies that are the result of that sort of lifestyle uh, it's not great all right back in the room got done with my workout and uh, next I'm going to shower and then go for a walk around Greensboro get some breakfast Union coffee shop 4.8 stars on Google reviews I'm just having a latte and a muffin here for breakfast real quick. All right, one hour to van time. Yeah, I probably have to shave. I hate shaving, uh, especially in the winter. It's pretty rough on my face. As I'm getting dressed, getting the uniform on, so my general method is uh, just get everything in one place on the bed and then slowly pack it and then just look for stuff that's out of place. If there's time, I'll make coffee and do something meta. On Friday, we had a full schedule of flying. All right, well, that was a long day. Back in my regional days, I used to do like up to seven or eight legs, but that's much more typical of regional airline flying. I'm lazy. I kind of would rather do you know, two long legs or better yet, just one transcon or better yet, one across an ocean. <laughs> 
Hey, babe. Love you lots. Love you too. So yeah, let's talk about hotels real quick. All of the hotels are chosen by the company in conjunction with the union's hotel committee. Within our contract, we have minimum standards. The types of places that we stay at, um, you know, on this trip, we're at two Marriott's and a Westin. We stay at a lot of Sheraton, a lot of Hyatt, a lot of Hilton's. On a 12 hour longer overnight, we stay in a downtown location. At the regionals, it's a different story. But I definitely stayed out at the airport most often. Some of the hotels were okay, some of them were not very nice. We usually do not lay over with flight tents, which is kind of sad. Uh, we've started to a little bit more now. At the regionals, you know, you had a, did a four day trip, you were sticking with the flight tents all four days, and you'd have three layovers together, and it was pretty common to go and do things as a crew. At my current airline, that is much more rare. It's changing somewhat as some of us younger guys upgrade, especially those of us who came up to the regionals and really prefer kind of that style of crew interaction. On a labor like this, where we worked hard, got in late, and then have a reasonably short overnight, we don't typically do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's, you just go to your room and slam click, we call it. All right, it's been a long day and I'm off to bed, so see you in the morning. Good morning from Richmond, Virginia. There's a pretty good Jewish deli. I just uh, searched breakfast in Google Maps. It's only about five blocks from here, so that'll be a nice little walk. It is sunny, but cold out here. 28 degrees, Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> Pearly's is exactly the kind of cool local spot that I love to find on layovers. My first officer, Grant, ended up joining me there. I ordered the salmon frittata and it was excellent. I got back to the room a little bit late, so now I got a pedal to make the van time. Saturday was an easy day of work. We deadheaded or rode in the back of a CRJ from Richmond up to New York's LaGuardia Airport, then worked one flight down to Fort Myers, Florida, with a few hours of crew room appreciation time in between. I just got down to Cape Coral, Florida, and the downtown area that we drove through on the way here looked kind of cool, so my F1 and I are going to go check it out. It was a fun night. We went to a rock show by some random local band, hung out at a pool hall and listened to some more live music, and hit up a cigar bar. World famous. It turned out Grant's a cigar guy. I went three days without knowing that. And good morning. It's go home day here in beautiful Cape Coral, Florida. Got the ocean front room. Doesn't always work out this way, by the way. <laughs> it did this time. This doesn't suck. I'm really enjoying the sun here. We're going back to Seattle today where it's like, I don't know, 35 or 40 and no doubt raining. Yeah, this is kind of nice. Feels like I'm back home on Windbird. Just walking the docks. So I just had something kind of hilarious happen to me. A little kid, probably four or five years old, said to me and says, do you make videos? It's like the exact same voice that maybe, you know, I, when I was his age, might've come up to a pilot and said, Are, do you fly airplanes? And he was so happy <laughs> to meet a real life YouTuber. That's what kids aspire to these days. I'm not sure I like the future all that much. I think I've mentioned this in my articles before, but I'm not a fan of Florida overall. But on the water, Florida makes sense. Afternoon. Hi. All right, I think Pinchers Crab Shack is probably today's choice. Uh, mahi sandwich for lunch. It's one thing I definitely miss about living on Windburn. Having fresh fish and lobster all the time. Finally. Go home day with two long but fairly easy legs to Seattle, finishing at nearly 3 a.m. East Coast time. Well, there we have it, another four day trip in the books. Donna is picking me up here uh, since it's too late to take the ferry back across. It's a good four day trip and probably a pretty good representation of what it's kind of like to be uh, on the road as a professional pilot. I often joke that my goal for every trip is to stay out of the headlines in the chief pilot's office and to avoid doing paperwork if at all possible. By those standards, this was a great trip, and the chance to explore some new places and socialize with a fellow crew member made it that much better. Hi Piper! Hey buddy! Yes! Yes! Okay Daddy, go get him! Hey bud!